So we're here by the lake in Hollywood Studios. Still one of the best looking parks. Oh look, Ian's here too. So we're heading over to Star Tours. And then we're gonna grab a quick bite to eat before we have Frozen Sing Along. I wanna build a snowman. It's a 10 minute wait to Olaf. Oh, let's go see Olaf. Well, let's do Star Tours first. the skateboard entrance into Star Tours. Thank you for flying Star Tours. Bye-bye. So we have just arrived at Black Black. Lot Express, Mac Lot Express, it's quite a mouthful for me. And um, I've ordered the chicken without cheese. And Ian, what are you having? I've got the Galactic Chicken Salad. Galactic Chicken Salad, that's healthy. Um, yeah, I don't really want it. So we're trying to use up some of these food credits because we've got so many of them. And then um, we saw Olaf in 10 minutes, so we might go and catch Olaf before going to see him on the stage singing his songs. Oh. So food's arrived. Oh wow, that's a that's that salad is look. It's like a pillow. And something else as big as Ian's head. Um, so that's chicken the beans. chicken and bean salad. Tiny bit of avocado. It smells lettuce. amazing actually. It's not bad, is it? Um, cherry slushy, blueberry slushy, I think. Raspberry. Raspberry, sorry. And chicken, chicken burger. burger. More chips. Oh my gosh, we've eaten so many chips. Need to stop with the chips. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to, for the first time in forever, a frozen sing along celebration. Do you want to build a snowman? I want to build a snowman. Well, let's go build a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Come on, let's go and play. to meet Olaf. How do you feel about meeting Olaf? I'm quite excited about meeting Olaf. Are you? I am, are you? Yeah, who doesn't want to meet a snowman? I want to be a snowman. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> hey, Olaf. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. How are you? I'm well. You look good. Oh, you always look good. Stay cool. See you later. Cheers, guys. Cool lad. It wasn't at all awkward. No, not at all. Uh, and before we do Slinky, we wander over to Toy Story Land. We're going to have some Olaf blood in the form mm -hmm. of a slushy that we're going to get from Batlock. Batlock. Bat. Bat. Stop. That place over there. So we're waiting for our mobile order. Slush. Slush can. Another day in Toy Story Land. Another lot of Pixar clouds. 
last time. Today, anyway. It's mid-afternoon, we've got some dinner tonight at Be Our Guest, so until then we're going to head back and take a rest. This is the view from our window. It's the Coronado Springs Lake. It's nice, the room served as well. And it was raining and thundering not so long ago. So I'm just looking at the lake to see what the weather is like currently. It looks like the rain's finished or if it's just gently spitting. Which is good, because we're about to head into Magic Kingdom for our Be Our Guest dinner. Yeah, I think we won't need a pack -a mac for now. Maybe later. That's a better view of the lake. Literally just outside our door and along the corridor. You get that. Still as a mill pond. And there's the construction. This time of night they've stopped working for the day. And even during the uh, afternoon time when we come home, you can hear the odd bang in the distance, but once you've got the aircon on, you can't hear it at all. It's wonderful. What an amazing view. It's a really lovely resort. I'll definitely come back. That's our room, 5307. It's more of the lake. Nice little fountain in the middle. Shame about the scrim over there. But it is a work in progress. And despite that, it's still a nice place to be. So, heading to Magic Kingdom, be our guest in 50 minutes. Be our guest. Be our guest. Right now. Service to the test. And my patience. Let's go. Woohoo! Steamy glasses. Uh, 20 minutes to our Be Our Guest dining reservation. Excited for dinner. Excited for Be Our Guest dinner. You'll notice on the top of the shops we've got pumpkins which some might think is odd because it's only the 13th of August but next week we start Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween during August yeah and there's more up there and on the entrance exit uh, uh, arch there's some more there as well so yeah Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween starts next week and the pumpkins are out already all right I've lost Robocop again it's a bit like playing Where's Wally. Oh, I see him. It's down the end, on the right-hand side by the ice cream parlour. Did you notice the pumpkins? I did notice the pumpkins. Halloween has begun. That's not music. All right, so just the 42? Yeah. Yes. She's got her British accent. Yeah, I like she's not brummy. <laughs> Lisa's got a royal buggy. Yay! Bonsoir! Bonsoir! Let's see, first name? Ian. Yes, you answered the magical question correctly. Congratulations. Thanks, Diana. Have you two been here before? Only for lunch, not for dinner. Only for lunch. Okay, well, dinner's quite a different experience. Mm -hmm. I think the two of you are going to love it. Thank you. Let's get you guys inside to that nice cool area. Thank you. Here, 
It's an allergy menu. It's an allergy menu and that man's got an allergy. He may uh, not have mentioned it. So we're in the ballroom. Uh, we know the sound in here is terrible because we've heard other vlogs in here, so I'm going to try not to shout too much. It but, is uh, like a canteen though, in terms of the noise, not in terms of the ambiance. It's a lovely room. Yeah, it is. Um, so I think I'm going to try the octopus to start, and then um, I'm going to have the fillet. What are you going to have? Um, I don't know because I'm not locked yet. <laughs> So okay, we'll show you when we decide. Then. David will film the room while I decide. <laughs> so the archway over there leads to the music box room, which we were in last time for lunch. Um, it's a massive room to have an evening meal. There's Ian again, deciding on his... Uh, his dinner. So what what looks what looks good to you? Because your options are a little bit more varied well, than mine. I'm gonna go for the filet mignon. So you're gonna have a filet as well. Steak as well. Yep. But it's France, so you should always have a steak in France. Um, and to start, I think I may go for maybe the bisque or the meats and cheeses. Meats and cheeses for starter. Yeah. Where are you, France? He's got some wines to start and no, some, some champagne. The starters, I meant drinks, you know what I mean. And then we've got appetizers. I am having the bisque. And I'm gonna go for the octopus. And then our entrees, we are both going for... The centre cup, filet mignon. Oui. So it's that non-alcoholic cocktail has a jazzy lemon and lime frothy foam thing on top, which was unexpected. Quite the, seen that beauty in these. Quite the star. David's on the beer. So I'm trying the speciality signature non-alcoholic beverage. I'm drinking beer tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Oh. Kung Fu. <laughs> oh God. Someone's only had two mouthfuls of beer and he's uh, got a bit cray cray. So I'm not we've got a return time to send the walls. I don't know if Ian's already said. No, I thought I'd wait until afterwards. So we're going to go chug a chug chug. I ho, I ho. On the mine train. Um, we're gonna, we've only been on it once, I think. So we need to see twice. So I still think Big Thunder's probably a better ride. Why? Um, What's a better ride? Because it goes up and down, up and down. Ooh, bread. Bread. <laughs> Don't touch my bread. <laughs> I won't touch your bread. Keep your hands off mine. Okay, so the warm bread's arrived. Um, we've got separate breads because they clearly you know that we can't share. So this is just a video of David eating food. There's probably some fetish site out there that will quite like this. Oh, the bottle's gone. That's a steak though, we've got starters yet. So it's just saying, um, Ian's drinks a bit acidic. Not that I'm moaning. But, um, oh, we don't want to be those people. But I'm um, just saying it's $9.50. For those prices, they can fix the lighting. <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> so we're going to get to go see the beast in a bit. He's in that room over there. But we can hear the screams from here. Can we? Yeah, there's children crying. Oh. It's quite scary. Oh, it, the night gets better. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for our starters. They're catching the octopus and... What, what did you like? The main bisque. Bisque. I don't know what that is. I think it's a soup. Um, so Ian's having that. But yeah, no, it's really nice. I do love... Beauty and the Beast is my favourite film. This is true. So, um, yeah, we're just waiting for food. 
And then we get to see the beast. Wow. So my beast has arrived. Look. Beauty and the beast. And Daily's octopus. It looks like someone's roasted Pascal from the Tangled. You can't say that. You can look. Look, turn it around again. So you see it. It's Pascal has been stuck on a barbecue. Stop it. How's Pascal? It's okay, it's a cold starter. Oh, I think it's hot. Well, the um, octopus is uh, like lukewarm, which I think it's supposed to be. Remember, the uh, compliments are uh, about cold. Um, it's really tasty. I think it's the third time I've had squid on this vacation so far, and I've really enjoyed it. So, yeah. Thank you. How's the bisque? I'm loving this bisque. I always like a bisque. It's really peppery. Really peppery in a good way. Um, I could eat buckets of this stuff. And I've got bread so I can mop it up in a common oh, British fashion. Save my bread so I can mop up my jam. Beast! Beast is going to his room. Kill the beast! He's jumped on. I did polish off my uh, beast of my bread. We did all right, didn't we? David ate his cold octopus, and I finished off my soup, and I used my bread. I'm, a, I'm embarrassed. Not embarrassed to say. I did the common thing and mopped up my gravy. There was a couple who got up and did a little dance in the middle of the ballroom and got my staff to film it for them because I think they're on an anniversary, which was really lovely. It sounds really cheesy, but it was really nice. And then David decided that we should do it. But Can I show them the dance? Yeah, he wanted to do... So we're a third the way through the meal. Uh, what's your thought? We, we've had a starter, basically. <laughs> So what are your thoughts so far? Um, I think we've, we've really lucked out of the table. We're literally smack bang in the middle of the ballroom. We're on an aisle. We've got tables for four, so there's no one directly next to us. So it doesn't feel claustrophobic. And there's also a pillar to the other side. So we've feels really secluded. Um, it's less a noisy than expecting it. I mean, it's still noisy, but it's less noisy than I thought it was going to be. And it's a really nice room to be in. And this, they changed the, the menu last month, so now it's a fixed price, three course meal, set course meal, for $55. Which I think isn't bad. So $55, round 40 quid at the moment, for three courses and a drink. And we're having um, a filet steak. So I think that's, considering... It's good value. It's good value for the moment. <laughs> I think the beast is coming. Kill the beast! The beast! Kill the beast! Oh, this beast has arrived. Just lovely. Well, have you got Ali G? I've got allergy. It's um, the same vegetables as they had in the contemporary. Now these are amazing. These are really good. I've also got potatoes with no butter. No. Whereas I've got some kind of buttery mash deliciousness going on that you can't focus on. Good. Mm, time to tuck in. These vegetables mm -hmm. are wonderful, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just beans, but they just don't taste like beans I've ever been able to cook. I, I had these over contemporary earlier this week, and they're the best vegetables. They're so good. They just, they just taste fresh. They are not soggy, they're perfectly cooked. That steak is amazing and huge. This is a really good dinner. So dinner was uh, a success. I think it went pretty well looking at that plate. The steak was delicious. Ian's struggling to finish his last little bit off. Not because I don't want it. Stalking the beast, not on purpose. So we are in the beast's quarters. Oh 
you don't realise is on camera it shows up really well. But it's really dark. If you want intimate dining, this is the place to come. So you can get your drink in one of those fancy flashing chalices. He's got a bit angry. Turn Chip around for us. Turn him around. Aww. You can't eat him. <gasps> oh, he's got a chip. David has a trio of macarons. No more fruit. I'm assuming that raspberry is quite tart. <laughs> so my chip was a thing of beauty. He's now a bit of a beast. What I really like about this is that paper is edible sugar paper. And that is a maraschino, brandy soaked maraschino cherry in chocolate on a macaron that was a white chocolate chip with the master's grey stuff which is the Oreo mousse David's abandoned, straw, abandoned the raspberries he did say he didn't want fruit he's just having the macarons now after this we're going to pay and then we're off to get our photo done with the beast it's a really good new menu I'm a big fan of the ratatouille it's really good too. Did you try the grey stuff? Delicious, yeah. yeah. It's delicious. It is. Hey, Beast. are about to start as we go on the Seven Dwarfs. Let's see if we can get anything whilst we're up there. Stay forever. <laughs> <laughs> 